Hi, today's video is about a little known law unique to California regarding Medicare Advantage plans and receiving a guaranteed issue into a Medicare supplement plan. I'm Chris Duncan, independent insurance broker, and I help explain Medicare basics so Medicare beneficiaries know all of their Medicare choices. Our best and most common compliment is when our clients refer us to their friends and family and they tell them to talk to Chris because he is Medicare made clear or talk to Chris because he is Medicare made easy. Our clients consistently tell us we make this easy for them. While watching this video, if you find the information helpful, please subscribe to our channel and make a comment below. And like I said, there is a little known law unique to California about Medicare Advantage plans and qualifying for a guaranteed issue into a Medicare supplement plan. I don't know if it has an official name, but I keep it bookmarked on my computer where it is on the state of California's legislative website. And under California law, it is under Article 6, Medicare Supplement Policies. I simply call it the 15% rule. I do know that I help at least one desperate person a year that needs to use it. I also get several calls per year from agents who are located all over the country who have a client here in California asking me if I know of any way to help them. I have even got called from a vice president of one of the largest Medicare supplement providers in the United States asking me for help to help another agent and their client. And like I said, this is a little known rule and why it can be so important to use professional agents that specialize in Medicare because Medicare has so many little rules and laws. So here's the rule. It states that if your Medicare Advantage plan has an increase in premium by 15% or more, an increase in physician hospital or drug co-payments by 15% or more, or reduces any benefits under the plan. This means if a Medicare beneficiary has a Medicare Advantage plan in California and any of these conditions take place, they have a guaranteed issue right into a Medicare supplement policy. And for the sake of clarity, Medicare defines a guaranteed issue on its website and the link is provided in the description below. This is also in the guide to buying a Medigap policy under guaranteed issue rights. And I quote, you have in certain situations when insurance companies are required by law to sell or offer you a Medigap policy. In these situations, any insurance company can't deny you a Medigap policy or place conditions on a Medigap policy, such as exclusions for pre-existing conditions and can't charge you more for a Medigap policy because of past or present health problem." Unquote. Why is this important? When a Medicare Advantage beneficiary has certain medical conditions or many different medical conditions, they will likely not qualify for a Medicare supplement plan. A Medicare supplement has the right to ask medical questions, underwrite and potentially deny coverage to an applicant that has had their Part B in effect for six months or longer. It is a very common belief amongst those on Medicare and many insurance agents that sell Medicare products but don't specialize in Medicare products that the annual enrollment period that occurs from October 15th to December 7th every year is the time for those that want to change their Medicare supplement and they may do so without having to answer any health questions whatsoever and cannot be denied coverage and the insurance company must cover pre-existing conditions. The fact is the Medicare annual enrollment period has nothing to do with Medicare supplement plans. The annual enrollment period is about electing or changing a Medicare Advantage Part C plan, electing or changing a prescription drug plan Part D or disenrolling from a Medicare Advantage plan and re-enrolling back to original Medicare. And if a Medicare beneficiary would like to change their Medicare supplement, they may do so as many times as they like throughout the year, whenever they want to. But in almost every circumstance, the company they are applying to for the Medicare supplement has the right to underwrite them and deny them coverage or accept and deny them coverage for pre-existing conditions for up to six months. Again, why is this important? Every year I have several clients call during the annual enrollment period saying they would like to leave their Medicare Advantage plan, return to original Medicare and purchase a Medicare supplement. Usually this isn't a problem. I ask why, and usually it is because they want to leave an HMO Medicare Advantage plan to return to a Medicare, excuse me, to a return to original Medicare to gain freedom to see any provider in the United States that accepts Medicare assignment without referrals. But inevitably, at least once per year, one client says something like, I have contracted XYZ disease or chronic condition and would like to return to original Medicare, get a Medicare supplement plan 
so I have access to more doctors. I say that is not a problem returning to Original Medicare, and Original Medicare will cover all your pre-existing conditions, but the Medicare Supplement Company is in all likelihood going to deny you coverage. Now, without a Medicare Supplement, the Medicare beneficiary is responsible for all co-pays, co-insurance, deductibles Medicare doesn't pay for, and what the Medicare beneficiary is responsible for has no out-of-pocket limit. I had two clients come to me last year that wanted to return to Original Medicare and get a Medicare supplement while having health conditions that the Medicare supplement companies would have denied them coverage. They obviously didn't qualify for a guarantee issue through the normal guaranteed issue rules most everyone knows about. And one of the two was simple to find a 15 increase, 15% 15 increase for in one of the co-pays or premiums. I usually look at the drug cost first because that can be as easy as a generic drug that my client is taking going up from zero to one dollars. This specific client had an increase in prescription drug costs on their plan. But the second case, it wasn't as easy. Over the last few years, many Medicare Advantage company, companies have been increasing benefits and lowering co-payments. This is a good thing. This Medicare Advantage member was on a plan that increased almost every benefit and decreased almost all of its co-payments. I had to thoroughly go through the plan and I found the only increase in copay was with the ambulance benefit. The copay went from $200 to $250. I found the 15% increase I needed to help my client qualify for a Medicare supplement guaranteed issue and have all pre-existing conditions covered. I was getting nervous. I've always been able to find and increase pretty easily. And I thought I was going to start having to look at the decreases, if any, in dental vision or hearing or reduction in gym membership benefits. I have always been able to find some type of qualifier. But finding the 15% increase or reduction in other benefits is usually the easy part. I have done enough of these. I know when I send in this application asking for the guaranteed issue for the essentially unknown special 15% California law that the application is going to be denied. I even sent it in with a copy of the California law. This is why I bookmarked this page on my computer. But I know the insurance company that we choose will deny the application and I will have to fight them. The insurance companies hate accepting Medicare supplement policies guaranteed issue. The reason being, the insurance company knows if a person is applying guaranteed issue, they have certain medical problems that would normally deny them. And in turn, the insurance company knows this person will likely incur many claims and the insurance company will likely pay out far more money than it brings in. When I send in the application for my client, I prepare them that this will get denied. And what it does, we will have to do a three-way phone call between my client, myself, and the insurance company. And the phone call will likely take at least two hours and will be passed around to many different people. Also, I inform my client that our goal is to find someone that is willing to take all the information we provide up to an upper manager. Because usually the manager will say to us, there is no such law. What happens is the insurance company does business all over the nation, and this 15% rule is only in California. I have searched everywhere that I know, all over Medicare's official websites, every Medicare document I know, and very few companies actually have the rule in their underwriting guide. The underwriting guide is the underwriting team's Bible at the insurance company. If it isn't in the guide, then it doesn't exist to them. So what ends up happening is on our phone call, we bounce around and get sent to a manager who kindly tells me I don't know what I'm talking about and there is no such law. And most of the time I'm able to keep my cool, but sometimes it does get a little heated. Last, we finally get to someone who has the ear of someone in upper management. We're told they're not available, but they will take all the information to them. Usually about 24 hours later, my client gets a call and it's not from me, it comes from the insurance company that their agent was ultimately correct about this law and they've never heard of it and they will be issued coverage as if they had no medical conditions whatsoever. This means no increase of premiums for having certain medical conditions and no pre-existing condition waiting periods as well. If you have any questions about this rule or any other question about Medicare in general, we're here to help. We help with Medicare supplement plans, Medicare Advantage Part C plans, Part D prescription drug plans, protecting retirees' retirement, and much more. Again, I'm Chris Duncan, and it's easy to contact us. You can do so toll-free at 
910-3382 and our website, trustedbenefitsdirect.com. If you found this information helpful, and you probably did if you made it all the way to the end of my video, please subscribe to our channel, make a comment, or share to your social media like Facebook and Twitter. You may be helping out one of your friends who has this condition and needs help. And we're also putting out information uh, to help with things like Medicare Basics, Medicare Made Clear, Medicare Explained, Medicare 101, and much more. Thanks again, and we'll be talking with you soon.